Hello, this is Ashi from Crafting with Ashi, and welcome to this video. This is the card making today. Isn't it gorgeous? This is all actually pattern paper here. Absolutely beautiful. And this is a Friday Focus, Focus Friday video, I should say. And we're looking at how different ways to use your pattern paper. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I've used this pattern paper to make all these wonderful die cuts. So let's get started. Put that aside. Uh, let me show you the pattern paper. It's called, I think it's the Hugs of Happiness pattern paper. And you get sheets of it like this, all these beautiful florals. And these all are cut out by the matching dies that also cut out, um, as you'll see, the images here on the stamp set. So it's extremely versatile, really useful. And you, you get two sheets of this colorway and you get other sheets of different colorways and um, if you want to see all of them if you look at the whole video I did you'll see this whole of this um, design series paper in detail so I'll link that below so do check it out so it's beautiful absolutely gorgeous so I've got my hair my mini em emboss and I've been cutting out merrily some flowers already as you can see and I've got in here the last ones to do and these are the dies and as you can see they're cut out these dies here cut out our um, flowers beautifully so let's put this last one through the machine really easy to do as you can see and I just hold it in place with a piece of post-it note tape but it doesn't ruin anything and I just keep on reusing that until it's lost every little bit of stick and as you can see a lovely die cut there for you to for you to use so it's a great way to stretch your paper and make it go even further so for the card I've also, when I've got this machine out, I'm going to do a little bit of embossing. I've got the thanks and hello embossing folder and I've got the one that actually says hello. And I've got a piece here of basic white. And we're going to put this through the machine. So I need my embossing plate and number two on the bottom and, um, and a number two on the top. Um, wrong emboss, yeah check I've got the right embossing plate here yeah, for standard actually it writes on the embossing plate so you know which one to use for what and we're just gonna we need just one number two so let's put this through the machine now and that's done so I'm going to clear all this away and I'll be back okay so we put all that stuff away and now we're going to do some heat embossing so we're going to use the happy birthday sentiment from the stamps that I showed you I'm going to stamp it quickly in memento ink get it nicely inked up we're just stamping on a strip here of basic white Okay, so set that aside and then I'm going to bring in my gold embossing powder which is here I'm just going to heat emboss this so let's just Another layer on for luck. If you think there's any embossing powder where you don't want it, just use a small paintbrush to get rid of those pieces. Okay, so that's what we've got there. Okay, so that's been heat embossed. So let's get ready to do some assembling of our cards. So I'm going to cut this panel down just a little bit like that. 
it's a way with dimensional and then I'm going to pen at the end using the Vanus Picker Pash I don't want such a big end though so this is the Vanus Picker Pash just slot it in and there we've got a little pennant on the end okay so let's bring in everything we're going to need to assemble this card there's our embossed piece so we can put that away I've got here some pieces of garden green to create our foliage and I'm using here the bow punch and I'm just going to punch out a few pieces of this as you can see come on out you come and some more and that should be enough as good as a feast so set that aside I've got a few bits there of foliage to work with that's good we've got here our pieces of floral our sentiment here's our card base and this is an insert I'm going to put on the inside so you can stamp this if you want and you can decorate it as well obviously so I'm going to put this for now on the inside like that and this is Flirty Flamingo this colourway here was Mango Melody and that was with the yellow ones and now I'm going to use the pink and then I've got a piece here of our this is the piece that we embossed now last time I did edge it with some gold embossing powder and that's what I'll show you in a minute I'm not going to do it this time you can tell me which one you like the best Okay, here the edge. I had a second piece of paper here and I just ran my Versamark ink pad along the edge of each side and then heat embossed that so it gives that gold effect there. But you can tell me which you like better. So here's our flower. So let's start to maybe try and put together some kind of a cluster here. Um, see what we like okay so I faffed about and got something I'm happy with now we're going to add our sentiment and we're just going to tuck it in here just oh, it's sticking to me just like that okay and then we're going to go in now with some foliage. So I'm going to get rid of my um, snail and rather use my glue, my wet glue. And we're going to just maybe tuck this where you think we need some greenery. I actually like that, so I'm just going to go down now. I think the greenery really helps to just lift everything and then on the inside I'm going to use my spindle rose I think here in the corner no dimension I'm just going to have a little bit of greenery like that so that's what we've got so far so next thing to do is cut off everything that's overhanging and the same here on the sentiment I mean on the insert and I've got glue all over my scissors Okay, 
this bit try to escape and get it this time there we go now I don't like that so I am going to just snip it so it's not doesn't look so weird okay so that's what we've got and then we are done I think yep we're done so I hope you enjoyed the card if you did I'd be grateful if you could give it a thumbs up so YouTube know um, let me know whether you prefer it with the gold or without the gold um, thank you again and until next time enjoy being creative bye